Hello, is it net pay you're looking for? Uh, no, but seriously, welcome to this episode of Geophysics Made Easy by Blueback Reservoir. Today we're going to look at how to estimate net pay from seismic. Prospects are often described by terms such as net pay and net to gross, but the difficulty can be to directly estimate this from seismic for a number of reasons. This can firstly be due to thickness variations in the reservoir, which can affect the amplitudes making them unreliable for a direct thickness estimation. And secondly, uh, variability in the reservoir lithology is also changing the amplitude, uh, making it difficult to estimate net to gross. Fortunately, our seismic net pay tool provides a simple solution to um, combating both of these problems to improve um, the mapping of thickness and net to gross in reservoirs. Firstly, um, we deal with the problem of thickness estimation or tuning by factoring in for the effect of tuning between um, a real top and base here with a trough and peak separation. So what we do is we use a simple um, wavelet convolution to create this tuning model which establishes a relationship between true thickness and the thickness measured from amplitude. Once we do that, we can then transform this um, simple model into a representation of amplitude versus thickness. So in this example here, we have a plot of amplitude or band limited impedance against thickness, which comes directly from our uh, tuning wedge here. So here we could play around a bit with different types of tuning wedges to see um, what the effect of varying the thickness is against the uh, amplitude. We can then also add our data to this plot to uh, calibrate the um, model here. And in this example, we can see that there's some points that are um, out with our um, tuning curve here. We can further adjust this to um, calibrate against our data to make an improved estimation of net to gross. This is done by basically then fitting the tuning curve over the, the data so that the um, strong uh, amplitudes are represented in the sort of apex or against this line. So this sort of moves the cleanest sands in your reservoir to the top of the net to gross scale and then scales the other uh, amplitudes uh, accordingly. Again, I mentioned that we have some uh, points here which are out with the tuning curve and this is because these points are below the tuning thickness and should be truncated from our uh, calculation of thickness or net to gross. When we run this process we can get a number of different outputs. We can get a uh, apparent thickness and a detuned amplitude which will factor for the effect of the tuning and we can also get uh, a net pay which is a measurement of thickness uh, in a reservoir and then our estimation of net to gross. There are a couple of assumptions of this workflow that you need to be aware of before running it. The first is that you need to convert your reflectivity into impedance um, so that your, rep your reservoir is represented by a single layer between a top and base uh, zero crossing. There are a couple methods provided to do this um, in the toolbox. These are colored inversion and spectral bluing, which you can use to convert your seismic between uh, reflectivity and impedance. In addition, to make the net to gross calculation uh, even more accurate, you can also incorporate well data to scale the uh, tuning curve. But in this example, I'm just going to um, make it simple. So let's take a look at how that works in Petrel. So from Petrel, we can open up our blue back home in the circle icon here. And then we can select our tool, which is called uh, Seismic Reservoir Characterization and then Seismic Net Pay. So this is the first stage here where we're designing a tuning curve, which establishes the relationship between amplitude and thickness. So here I can just put in a uh, central frequency and the tool will create then a uh, simple model here. This is um, basically offset against depth to show how this uh, simple tuning curve is modeled in a, in a 2D sense. 
what you can see here is uh, two red lines which are representing uh, a true top and base and you can then see how uh, the amplitudes um, represented by the wiggles here change uh, as you increase or decrease the thickness in this model. So that basically allows then a relationship between thickness and amplitude to be um, established. If we then move into the calibration plots tab and click on uh, update plots here we can get then uh, a nicer representation of our um, amplitude or average BLI against our um, thickness. So you can see how this would uh, vary against each other. We can then uh, bring our uh, seismic data between our top and base reservoir into the plot here by adding that in and then clicking update plots. This just takes a couple of seconds to calculate the average amplitude and thickness for each sample between your top and base reservoir. So these are then added to the plot and with the simple click of the auto calibrate here we can just uh, use a default scale here to best fit the set of points. So what we have here is a sample of average amplitude versus thickness for each of the points between our top and base and our tuning curve fitted over the top. So you can see here that we have an area of points that are below the tuning thickness which should be excluded from our calculation as they are um, in a zone of very strong um, interference or tuning effect. Uh, and then we have the rest of the points calibrated under the graph. So the idea now is to scale this plot in order to make a better representation of net to gross based on your, your peak amplitudes here. Uh, and we can do that by basically adjusting the factor here and by doing so we'll move the points up and down on this scale and this is effectively changing how the net to gross will be calculated in the calculation. So if I reset it to 35 here what I want to do is make sure that my clean sands are um, being represented as a net to gross value of 1. So I'll scale this plot basically relative to good versus bad. So here we have a good match for our data and we're ready to then calculate our uh, various outputs. So if I then come to my um, output tab and click advanced we can see the number of different maps that we can create here. Uh, we can get a apparent thickness which is just a default measurement of the thickness from the seismic. We can get a detuned amplitude which will be a amplitude um, also with factored for the effect of tuning and we can also get of course our seismic net to gross in time and our net pay in time which is a measurement of the thickness in the uh, in the reservoir. So by pressing apply we can then get a set of uh, net pay maps here, the first of which is the uh, net to gross, so that's a calculation based on our um, scaling and also our uh, net pay here which is a thickness measurement um, based on both uh, the tuning wedge and the scaling. So thanks very much for listening and as always please let us know if you have any questions.